Look at it. I love it. I love your car. <laughs> I had to get a picture of that car. Shane was like, look what's rolling up beside you. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Uh, so we went to the Iron Skillet and it was not a buffet. So we're gonna go, oh, good morning. This is a new vlog. Good morning. Good morning. Wait, why are you driving on the wall? I was looking at the old dock pillars over there. Oh. Distracted. You know, Happy I'm, Saturday, new vlog. I'm huh? a distracted driver. Distracted driver. So we were gonna go eat at the Iron Skillet. Uh, I want to call it the Silver Skillet, but we decided we didn't want that. So we're going to the Golden Corral, but we're gonna behave. We're gonna low carb and behave. I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. So just ignore that. That's fine. When I travel, I pack light, especially on overnighters. So. Ignore that I'm wearing the same shirt. Nobody cares. Ignore that. Ignore it, y'all. So we're gonna go get some breakfast or lunch now. It's 11. We're gonna get some meatloaf. Some meatloaf and salad. I'm gonna get some salad. I'm gonna get some tuna. Yeah, all the low carb good stuff. And um, then we're gonna roll into Norman and go get the rest of Riley's stuff and then head home. And tomorrow's Riley's birthday. Well, we're celebrating. It's tomorrow. It's Monday. Okay, Her actual yeah. birthday's Monday. We're Monday. celebrating it tomorrow. We're going to have Riley's birthday tomorrow. We're gonna. She wanted a taco bar, so that's what we're doing. All the kids are going to come over. So. And we're going to make guacamole. And I'm making guacamole. Because who makes the best guacamole in the whole world? His wife. Did. I make some good guacamole, and it is stupid easy. We need to find some avocados. we got to go to Varela's. Some avocados. Yeah, and then I'm going to get some fresh peppers and... Okay. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grill up some onions and some peppers for the tacos. It's hard to find avocados that are ripe already. Morellas will have them. Okay, I'll go to Morellas when we get back to town. Of course, it's summertime, so everybody's gonna eat. Okay, let's go eat. There you can see. Okay, we, we're low carbon. I got eggs and bacon and greens <laughs> and a little bit of roast. And Shane got the same thing, but cottage cheese and tuna. This is some willpower at the Golden Corral, but we're doing it. <laughs> All right, we're at the Oklahoma University campus. That's where the whole fake shooter thing went down. Yeah, that's where the fake shooting went down. Isn't it pretty? There's Gaylord Hall. So, this is Riley's College, also where my sister graduated from. I think my dad went to school here for a little bit. Yeah, I think he got his degree here. Yeah. What is that car doing? So we're gonna, these are Riley's old dorms over here. So my sister stayed in these dorms too. Look, Kimberly, Nathaniel, if you're watching, this is where your mama stayed when she went to college. Not, not there, baby, up here. Well, I'm just vlogging the whole thing. Not there, babe. <laughs> They're all dorms. Let me roll my window down. Anyway, yeah, this was Kimberly's. Kimberly's Hall. And then next was Riley's Hall. That's where your mama stayed, Nathaniel. Anyway, uh, it's a move out day for college students. So Riley's already packed up and moved home. She got home last night and we've we're got we gotta go up to her dorm and get her mini fridge and take it back with us since we were in Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City and Norman are only like a 30 minute drive. So anyway, beautiful campus. Oklahoma University is a beautiful, beautiful campus. So we're going to go in here and get this done. Yeah, we got to find a place to park. You guys, it is like 89 degrees and sunny and gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. We're home. We've been home for a couple hours. Hold on. We've been home. Let me wipe your face. Better? 
We've been home for a few hours, but I had to get in the house and chill. You know what I mean? So, Brooks and Dunn is uploaded. Listen, we were in the middle in the floor, so the zooming in and out and holding the camera still, it was, it's not great quality. I did my best. I did my best, but go enjoy that. <laughs> we had a ball. We had a ball. So now, um, I haven't eaten since we ate um, breakfast this morning at Golden Corral. And so I am making, um, I got a bag of frozen broccoli. And then this is a three pepper and onion blend from the Walmart that I've had in the freezer forever. And I always forget it's in there. So I've got that going in here. Y'all can see. Picking all that up in here. And um, I've got that cooking up with some olive oil. So let's season it up. Let's put some salt and pepper. Oh, and when that kind of cooks down, we're going to add some of this to kielbasa because I'm getting hungry. That's going to be good. Good and healthy. I love me some veggies. I was going to come home and um, fry up some eggs. And, uh, I was going to fry up some eggs and then I decided I want, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. So we're going to do this. Let's put some seasonal because when you don't know what to use, just use seasonal. In there. Did I tell you I've got this all going with olive oil? What else we got? Garlic salt. Just a little bit. A dash of paprika. Oh, forgot I got my bougie paprika up there that got sent to me. Dang it! I need to put. The, I need to bring that down to the bottom shelf. Onion powder. And that sausage is going to give it a lot of flavor, too. Tootie little um, cutting board I ordered off Norwex. I'm not going to use half of that, I think. Dogs are barking at something. Get him? Did you get him? You get Ross. You ain't getting them. It's not for dogs. I already fed you dinner. I already gave you your turkey dinner. Well, this is quick and easy and low carb. Some big florets in there. I'm going to cut them down. No, come back here. This 
so it's quick and easy and filling. So Wyatt loves to make this. This is one of his favorite dishes, but he puts his with rice. But I'm not making rice. Some big old heads of broccoli. Do you guys eat the broccoli stems? I do. I eat the whole thing. Now, some people don't like the stems. I'm so glad today's Saturday. I still have a whole nother day before I have to go back to work. Love that. Love it. Yum. I gotta sneeze. Mm. Bless me. Anyway, that's really, we don't really have anything else going on. Thanks. Shane's in there watching Netflix or Hulu or something. And we know he needs to finish his, um, if you haven't watched the Brooks and Dunn video yet, um, we've got, Shane was starting to do a record haul and we only got halfway through it. So, I was just telling him, people are going to be asking about the rest, the rest of your record haul, so you're going to have to show us. And then he got a few more in the mail, too, so I don't know if he'll feel like doing it on this video or another one, but we'll get to it at some point. We'll try. You see this? Looking good. So guess what? Y'all remember when I told you on Good Friday I cracked my phone and then they came out and repaired the screen and gave me a refurbished phone? Well, this refurbished phone is crap. It's crap. Um, every time I, you know, hit the side button to turn the screen on, it's like, does this for like a whole minute before it stops. And I'm like, yeah, we're not playing that. We're not playing that. So... Um, we're doing Riley's birthday tomorrow, so I don't have time to go tomorrow to get my phone done. So I'm just going to keep this phone for another week and next Saturday I'm going to get my hair done. And then when I'm done getting my hair done, I'm going to turn this phone in. It's, I only owe like two more, I only owe like $250 left on this phone. But since they gave me a crap phone, I'm going to see if they'll just let me go ahead and trade it in. Um, but I think I'm going to try, what I film on now is a Samsung 21 Ultra, but I think I'm going to switch to the Google Pixel 7. So I've been doing some research, and I was like, what are the top phones for vlogging? Um, and the Google Pixel 7 was number three. The first one was an iPhone, and I don't do iPhones. I'm not, I don't do iPhones. I'm an Android girl, and then I can't remember what the number two phone was, but number three was the, the Google phone, and um, there's, it's got great reviews, and so I think I, I'm going to go in the store and play with it and see if I like it, and uh, if I do, I think that's what I'm going to get and get off this Samsung. Um, before Samsung, I had Motorola three times. I love Motorola. Love it. But, um, anyway, I think I'm going to try the Google. So, if anybody has a Google phone, let me know what you think. Um, I'm anxious to know. This is about done. Mm. can't wait to eat it. That was good. And I just had... And my little watermelon bowls from the Dollar Tree is the perfect amount. That was good. So, you know what I'm going to do? I've got quite a bit left over. Look. 
I got quite a bit left over. So I'm gonna put that in the fridge and then in the morning I'm gonna get up and make a couple fried eggs and heat some of that back up and that'll be breakfast. Shane's coming in to finish his vinyl record haul. And we can wrap up this video Where are you wherever you want. I we can do it in there. Do you want to add these onto it too? Okay, we'll be right back. Wyatt, we are rolling. Okay. So, this is, we're about 24 hours from when we started this thing. And... I don't know. She just threw me on camera. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm not really into this, but I'm going to do it. I love you. Um, you Mars, pump up the volume. We already covered that. Paul Simon Grace hits. We already covered the story there. Ice House. We covered. We covered. We talked about that. Um, next, I've already got a copy of this, but they had a cop five dollars Beatles um, Magic Mystery Tour. And I think my copy doesn't have like the pages in the book are intact. And these are all intact. Um, I've never really, I was never really a Beatles fan until within the last couple years. And I've got a friend that's a huge Beatles fan and he kind of got me listening to them. And of course as a kid, you know, in the 70s, I mean, I remember those songs, I remember Yellow Submarine and I Am the Walrus. I remember those songs. Um, and so, uh, I, I just, to me, as a, as a record collector, you've got to have, you've got to have your Beatles. You've got to have it. Um, just like Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, there's some must-haves. Um, I think you've got to have the whole Beatles catalog. So, anyway, I bought this because it was $5. I mean, super, super cheap for this album. Um, songs you might know. Um, Magical Mystery Tour, obviously. I Am The Walrus, which is kind of one of my favorite songs by the Beatles. Um, Hello, Goodbye, Strawberry Fields, Penny Lane, All You Need Is Love. I mean, come on. You know, just quintessential Beatles stuff right there. Um, Gatefold, again. So, I think the newer pressings of this. Um, by the way, I think I might have covered this on something else, but a couple things about albums. Usually... If an album is gatefold, which means it opens up like this in the middle, um, those are the earlier pressings. As they got later, they would, in order to save money, they would just go down to you know this, and it opens up here. Um, so your earlier your earlier pressings, your earlier packaging, if it if it was in the gatefold fashion, um, then typically it was going to be an earlier copy. Um, and then also on the back, um, so one thing like I'll look for if I see something like this, which I don't this album's from like 68, I think, 69 maybe, 67, somewhere in there. Um, but if, you, if you're looking at records that are old like that, uh, pre-1980, um, I will look like this Ice House record, yeah, the UPC coding right there. Um, that started in like 81, right around 1981. It kind of depended on the record company, um, on when they started doing it, but it was right around 81, 82. Um, so I'll look for that because if, if this Magical Mystery Tour were to have a UPC coating on it, then automatically, I know that's a later pressing, and I, it might not be the best, best quality. Um, so anyway, um, that's one of the things, and this obviously doesn't have a UPC code anywhere. So that tells me, oh, well, at least it was a 70s pressing. Um, anyway. I didn't know that. Um, next album I got, Steve Winwood, Taking Back the Night. Uh, another, another artist that really never got too into, but as I got older and I started listening to, um, like, Traffic, um, I love the early Traffic stuff. And then when Steve Winwood and Clapton did the Blind Faith thing, um, kind of made me start appreciating Steve Winwood. Um, and so as a result, uh, we've, we've collected, we probably have four or five Steve Winwood out. I mean, we've got, 
We've got like three uh, traffic albums. We've got the Blind Faith album, um, and then probably, like I said, probably three or four Steve Winwood albums. Just because it's real, it's real, just easy listening. Um, he's a great, great singer. Um, so yeah, that was two dollars, and again, really good condition. And by the way, I'm not pulling the vinyl out of these when I'm showing them, but I always do check the vinyl. Um, and the vinyl is in good condition because if a record's two dollars but the vinyl is crap, um, then there's really no reason in getting it. Um, unless, of course, it's something like this. If, if I don't, if I didn't have a copy of this and the vinyl was crap, I might still go ahead and buy this just to have it, and then later. If I find a better copy, I'll replace it then. Um, so yeah. Uh, another kind of fun find was this Level 42. Um, I'm a big Level 42 fan. Um, <clears throat> Lessons in Love, you probably recognize that song from the 80s. Um, Something About You is another 80s song that they had. Um, real... It has, it has kind of a funk, almost a disco-y bass line. Um, this album was three dollars. All, all these albums were, were cheap, um, but it was three bucks. I saw it. Um, this isn't one of their more popular. There was two albums that were pretty popular. Um, this isn't one of them, but I saw this and I was like, I like Level 42. Um, I also like sonically how it sounds. Um, it's really got that 80s, like I said, kind of a bass line, synthesizer. Um, so I bought that for three bucks. I thought that was fun. Um, <clears throat> Next album, three dollars. Jeff Beck, quintessential Jeff Beck album. Um, who passed away recently, by the way. Again, I'm not a big Jeff Beck guy, um, but this is. There's three or four albums that you have to have by Jeff Beck. I don't have any Jeff Beck albums, so I will actually listen to this, put it on, and listen to it straight through, um, and. Uh, Again, this is, um, there's probably no songs here that you would recognize, um, but obviously he's a guitarist, guitarist, um, so yeah, picked, saw that immediately, this is one of the first ones I grabbed, saw that immediately, I'm like, well, I'll, I'll take that, um, so there's that. Um, next one is Leon and Mary Russell, Make Love Music. That was the next um, one. Yeah, Amy, actually, the funny thing about this is she was on a, at a different part of the store in the newer, uh, new arrivals, and she goes, hey, here's a Leon Russell album, and it was $11, and it was this album, um, and we're, I'm over at the bargain bin, and I find this copy for $3, and it's, you know, pulled the vinyl out, check the vinyl, I'm like, man, it's a clean copy, um, and so... Mary and uh, Leon Russell and make love music. And so, love him because he's a Tulsa boy. Yeah, and obviously, as, as I think we've mentioned before, Leon is a huge Tulsa. I mean, he he went to Rogers High School. Um, Hang out with your mom. Long, yeah. There's a long. There's a lot of tie-ins with Leon and Tulsa, and, and my mom actually. Um, she would met him a few times, so that's kind of cool, and hung around a little bit. So. Um, and then they just, I think, I don't know if we took you on the tour or not, but they just reopened the old church studio that he opened um, and uh, that he recorded at back in the 70s. He actually bought this old church and turned it into a recording studio. Then they moved out to L.A., um, but they still use that as a recording studio. And that's actually where Tom Petty was signed. Actually, that he was signed in the in the little restaurant across the street from the church studio um, his original contract Tom Petty um, with Shelter Records so anyway long story but uh, make love music that's one that she and I will Amy and I will listen to together obviously or not so obviously um, Human League Fascination uh, again not something I'm looking for but we like 80s music um, four dollars for this album is is a pretty good deal. Normally, if you see this album, it's going to be in the uh, I say eight eight to ten dollar range, maybe seven dollars, maybe twelve dollars, uh, but eight to ten bucks. Um, big song that you recognize here if you're from that area. Um, fascination, keep feeling fascination. Um, 
there's also a song on here called Mirror Man that you might recognize. Um, I've got their other album, Dare, um, that I think was their, their first album. Um, and it's got a couple hits on it. But I saw this and I was like, man, for four bucks, I'll, I'll grab that. Um, then we've got a couple editions. These are records that I ordered online. Um, and the first one is uh, Prince, Around the World in a Day. Um, again, gatefold copy, which is nice. Vinyl's in beautiful condition. Um, it's still got, it, there's a lot of little, some albums have, this is a little tear off feature. I don't know if it was meant to be a bookmark or what, but it's got a perforation right here. So a lot of times when you find these gatefolds, the perforation that you tear off will be missing. This is there, which makes it a little more, uh, a little more of a desired item. Um, what are some songs on here? Pop Life. Pop Life is one of my favorite Prince songs. You may not have known that. Um, uh, and another little, I, I've got the 12 inch single to Pop Life. I've also got the 45 to Pop Life, but I didn't have the album. Um, Raspberry Beret was probably his biggest hit off of this album. And is there another one? I think there's one more. Well, I guess not. But, uh, yeah, Prince around the world in a day. Um, as Prince goes, and I think most of his albums are indicative of this. He was kind of what he did. Prince was a genius, um, but you listen to some of his songs and you are like, "What am I listening to?" Um, I think especially I I bought uh, Purple Rain as a kid. Um, I think when I bought Purple Rain. Yeah, I might have been 12, um, and I just remember listening to Purple Rain, uh, not Purple Rain the song, but Purple Rain the album, and man, there there's some weird songs on that, just like, I'm like, what am I listening to? Um, I think 1999 isn't quite like that, um, I think 1999 is a little more straightforward, um, and then this album, um, Around the World in a Day, has some stuff like that, which is just a little... Um, you know, there, there's a good song. Raspberry Beret is a great song. Pop Life's a great song. But there's some other songs on here that are just like, I don't, I don't. His, his mind is just above mine when it comes to listening to it. So, but I'm looking forward to listening to that as a whole. And then finally, um, this album came out a couple years ago. Duran Duran, Future Past. Um, I just happened to be scanning one night and this was $12. Um, originally when it came out, it was like $30. This is their most recent album. Um, and I was actually thinking about it the other day after I ordered this and I was like, I bought in, I think it was 1982 and I bought Duran Duran, Is There Something I Should Know? With my own money, I don't know, what are you doing? Oh, I couldn't tell if she was smiling or scowling at me, but she's got a toothpick over there behind behind the scenes. Um, but anyway, I thought it was kind of odd. It was kind of funny. I don't I don't buy very many new albums um, as far as brand new stuff. But I saw this. It was a deal. It was twelve dollars. I was going to buy it new a couple years ago, but I didn't want to pay thirty dollars for it. Sorry, guys. Um, but I also thought I was like, wow, it's kind of kind of poetic that I bought that was one of the first albums I ever bought with my own money was was back then um, Duran Duran is there something I should know and here I am 40 years later buying a Duran Duran album um, the song on here that I really really like is called wing um, it's on side B it's the third song um, again I, I have listened to this album I've listened to all the songs. I haven't listened to the album. Um, but I've listened to all the songs. And kind of like Prince, there's some songs on here that are just a little bit different um, that I don't super care for. But there's also a couple songs that really um, just take you right back to 1982, 1983, um, when Duran Duran was, I mean, there was, some people thought they were really going to be like the next Beatles. That's how popular they were getting. Um, so anyway, I'll be excited to listen to Duran Duran, Future Past. What did you get that for? How much? Twelve bucks. Nice. And it's sealed, 
So, you know, as, as, as our little ceilings go, our unceilings, um, we may listen to it together. I may wait. I may not. I may open it and listen to it myself. Who knows? Maybe we'll open it and sign it like we normally do. But anyway, that is it. Um, thanks for hanging out. Do you have anything to add, lover? No, thanks for finishing your haul. Oh, people love your haul. This has white. The, I just read. I didn't think this had the white vinyl, but it says white vinyl. Um, so the vinyl. I'm not going to open it right now, but the vinyl inside is not black. It's actually white. Um, so that's kind of fun. Whenever the colored vinyl pressing, I think that's one thing. Um, used to be, there's been some color vinyl pressings throughout all of time, you know. Um, but most recently, uh, you're seeing a lot more colored vinyl out there. Um, I think that's kind of fun. I like it. Now that now they there is a contingency that says that uh, they don't sound as well. Um, whatever. It, if you like it, if you like the music, you know, yeah, you want it to sound good. Um, but also, it's kind of fun to pull out an album that's white or that's blue with like a splatter on it. Um, I've got a Metallica album that's green and it's like a splatter. And um, I think Target is doing a lot of that stuff and I also think Walmart's doing a lot of that stuff so um, you, you know you might you might check it out if you're a vinyl buyer anyway that's it thanks you got anything else no nope. thanks lover no nope. all right okay love you I'm gonna shut this down shut it down make you some sausage and broccoli it was good we love you guys Lord loves you more see ya